Good morning everybody. Today to start off we will be looking at our single day weather report. So far today we have had a high of 2 degrees and a low of negative 4. With our wind chill we have had lows of negative 25 to negative 35 degrees. Looking at Saturday, so far we have a high of 3 degrees and a low of negative 16. And on Sunday, Valentine's Day, we have a high of negative 1 and a low of negative 20. So make sure you snuggle up with your significant other to stay warm. Now looking at our weekly weather report, you can see that much of the week we have these bitter cold temperatures, but as we get farther throughout, we will be seeing this warming trend coming. And throughout the next week, we will also be seeing temperatures starting to get up into the mid to low 30s. We also see a lot of clouds and maybe some possible flurries some of the evenings. Now on to our next segment. Last Thursday, Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers issued a new statewide mask order, an hour after a Republican-controlled legislator voted to repeal his previous mandate, saying he didn't have authority to make such a decree. Evers and the legislator have been at odds throughout the pandemic, but the latest moves created an unprecedented level of whiplash. Republican lawmakers last year persuaded the state Supreme Court to scrap Evers' stay-at-home order in a state appeal court halted the limits he placed on indoor gatherings. If the legislator keeps playing politics and we don't keep wearing masks, we're going to see more preventable deaths and it's going to take even longer to get our state and our economy back on track, Evers said. Republican State Senator Steve Nass who led the push to repeal the order, accused Evers of being a lawless governor. Nass said he was drafting another resolution to repeal the new order and was considering asking the Wisconsin Supreme Court to take emergency action. Now on to Hunter Lochner. Thank you, Hayden. In this segment, I'm going to cover a New York Times article about schools letting their students back into school. Nakusa High School was a part of this study. In the article, they were trying to show if it was safe for students to come back to school. Each teacher was keeping track of kids wearing masks, how close they were, and if anyone got the virus. In the study, they surveyed 17 different schools in Wisconsin, and from the survey, during the 13 weeks that they were keeping track, 191 infections among staff and students, with only 7 cases transferred within schools. If you want to learn more about this article, it's called Schools can be safe, the CDC says, by New York Times. Now on to Ethan with a segment about boys basketball. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now on to a special announcement from Ms. Bradle. It's about musings, which is a special opportunity for all high school students. Hello, NHS. It is I, Mrs. Bradle, coming at you because I I have something that you're going to want to do. As you can see in the picture, I see a little guy writing right there. And I know you are writers. I've seen some of you write. And I know that some of you even write for fun. Don't tell anyone. So with that said, I want to remind you of a fancy opportunity. I'm here to use a little bit of rhetoric. I'm not sure if I can pull that off or not, but I'm going to try. And if you're a freshman and you're like, hmm, I don't know what rhetoric is, you'll learn soon enough in English 9. But writers, I want to talk to you about musings. It is the South Central Conference Literary Magazine, and it is published yearly. And if you are lucky, and some of you in this school have already been lucky enough to be published, um, the group of teachers who get together to help publish musings will select your writing to be in a real book. And what I want from you are your submissions. I will take short stories. I will take poetry. It doesn't matter if you wrote it for history class. Psst. Some of you, uh, Mr. Birch said you're really good poets. So throw those poems my way. Um, I, I will take any writing that you've done. So wait, that was maybe a little bit extreme. So I will not take any writing that you've done, but I do want some of your best work. Send it my way. All you have to do is put it in a Google Doc. I will help you do the rest, um, and I will do the submitting for you. I will do all the work. You don't have to do anything except the hard stuff, which is the writing. So send your writing to me. Um, you can Google, mail it, 
to me. You can bring it to me in the classroom. I don't care. Bring me your writing for musings. Um, I would love that writing from you by March 5th. Um, I really probably can't take it any later. And I'm sad right now because I think I have like three submissions and we have a whole book to fill. And uh, personally, I don't want the Dells or Adams or uh, I can't even think of anybody else right now. Is it Westfield? Me? I don't want them to have all the poems and all the writing. I want us to have it. I want the book to be us. Because we're the best in the South Central Conference, right? So with that said, send me a writing March 5th. I know I'm weird, but I'm trying. Can you try to? Send me a writing. Thanks. Happy Friday, everyone. Today is February 12th. Happy birthday goes out to Paige and Paris Olson. On Saturday, Autumn Porter has a birthday. And on Sunday, happy birthday goes out to Thailand Cloud. Boys basketball is a home game versus Watoma. It is parents' night. If anyone wants to play golf this spring, please contact Mr. Roxer by Friday the 19th in room 204. Softball is sign up Thursday, February 18th at the High School Commons. It is after school at 3 o'clock, and if you are unable to make it, please contact your coach by, via email. Thank you all for tuning in to this week's episode of NHSN, and we hope to see you all next week.